Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to introduce the new most functional multipurpose Gutenberg module for sliders, tabs, and content togglers. And the first block is tab block. It can look simple, but the real power of this block that it's container so you can place any other blocks inside tabs. For example, we add here our offer block, specification table which is made on core table block, and our pros and cons block. Let me show also some useful and some unique options. First of all, you can change design types and colors for tabs. Also you can set padding for desktop and smartphone versions, but I think that this is available also in other Gutenberg extensions. Here are a few unique options. One of them is Smart Scroll for mobile resolution. Here example how it works. As you see, when you have enabled Smart Scroll, then tabs are visible as scrollable block on smartphone resolution. Without this option, tabs are rendered as stacked elements. Another great option is possibility to add images and descriptions to each tab. And the last awesome feature is to add slider to tabs with autoplay, so your tabs will work as control for slider. Next helpful new block is Content Toggler. You can use it when you need to hide long text, spoilers or make your page more compact. It's working very simple, add block to page, then click on button to open Toggler. You can find this button in Inspector in Side Area or in Toolbar. You can also control hide and colors and add own labels. Next block is the most powerful slider and carousel block. You will not believe how many variations a block you can create. As any other dynamic blocks, it works as containers so you can add any other blocks inside slider. For example, we will add some text and button. To control space between elements, we recommend to use spacer block. Now, important thing. Control and select of some elements will not work inside slider, this is because slider drag script has priority over other scripts in editor. But you can easily select all elements in navigator and control all options in inspector. Another important notice is Align option. Slider block has global align options for horizontal and vertical align. But sometimes you may want to control them for each slide and element separately. For this, select slide element and disable global align inside it. Now, aligns of each element will have priority over global align for slider. Each slide item can have unlimited number of inner blocks. In this example, we will try to make it as product slider, so, we add also image block. Now, in global settings, select border design.
To simplify making complex sliders, we added extra helper icons in Toolbar, where you can remove latest slide item or duplicate it with all inner blocks. In this way, you can create all styles only for first slide, then simply duplicate it and control as you wish. Let's talk now about more practical example. By default, when you hover over slider, you will have regular arrow, but you can enable grab cursor. Loop option will make slider as infinite. It's also very effective to use loop option with visibility option and center option. Free mode will make slider more as scrollable block without snapping for each slide. And spacing option, you can control margins and paddings for all elements, each option can be also different for each resolution. Block height option will help you to make all blocks with equal height. As all other blocks, slider has color options, you can assign different colors for regular and active slide. You can control position of arrows. Usually, I make them with negative spacing on both sides. Also, if you use arrows over slider, make sure that it has some background value. The same control is available for bullet navigation. If you want to place bullets at top of slider, add value more 100% from bottom position. You can enable also scrollbar instead of bullets. Now, the most interesting part is advanced effects. Scale effect will make your active item more bigger than other items. Coverflow effect will add 3D effect to your carousel. You can control depth and rotation of this effect. Coverflow effect has more sense if you enable full visibility. Cards effect will turn carousel to cards. Custom effect is useful when you want to make own type of sliding. You can control sliding effect in all three axes, change rotation, opacity, scale for previous slide effect, and for next slide effect. You can experiment with this effect, it's very interesting, and you can get very unusual but cool effects. Currently, this effect can be used only for one or for two items per row. You can use slider, not only for sliding custom items, but also as image sliding. For this, you can upload images in each slide element. This image will work as background, and very similar to core cover image block of WordPress. You can also choose focal point, enable or disable cover effect for image and attach overlay background.
Alongside with advanced slider module, we added also simple slider block. With this block you can use only images and captions, but it works faster and more easy to assign images. By the way, all blocks have option to use external images. Thank you for watching this tutorial, God bless you and your site, and see you in next video.